I think it takes a special eye to see spatial relationships in a building. And I think that architecture photographers share that with architects. I think the story that we need to tell is twofold. One is that original vision of the architect. The second part of that is really how it feels when you're standing inside of that space. So this tutorial really does contain everything. Not only do we have pre-pro and a scout, we could back up and do a 35. We gotta move this probably. But we also talk about pricing, shooting, and a lot of the different challenges that you'll encounter in commercial spaces. Now both of those conference rooms are wrapped in glass, so we have some glare we're gonna have to handle. Then we go through post-production, not only my process, but we bring Barry McKenzie to go through that process, which is really how I work. I think if we made a selection around this in post, all the way around that, dropped in an office view, at least have it. Okay, let's do it. I have someone take my images 80 to 90%, and then I put that last finishing special sauce on them before I deliver them to a client. First deliverable image. I think it looks good. Clients should be stoked with that. The space we chose for this tutorial is a space that I think a lot of architecture photographers are gonna be able to relate to. There's a lot of breakout spaces and bold colors and glass, windows, natural daylight. We have a lot of glare down there. We're gonna to have to close the blind. Polished concrete floors. These are all design elements that I've been seeing over the last couple years on a repetitive basis. Concrete is picking up all kinds of reflections and glare. I felt comfortable that this space would present enough challenges and enough commonality in the types of spaces that people would find when they got out there and started photographing spaces. The problem with this is that those bold colors are contaminating those white walls, which means we're gonna have to do some post work to get rid of that color cast. The other thing is pricing, and that is something that you just can't find anywhere. I'm gonna break it down here in the tutorial, teach you exactly how cost sharing works so that you can go out, implement it to your business practices, and build your client base as well. Emotion and storytelling really are what commercial architecture photography is all about. It's our job as photographers to translate the emotion of a space into a two-dimensional image. If you can invoke emotion in an architect, that really is what will set you apart from the competition. Make images that architects can connect with.